Mother's not letting it have its way. It's definitely going to move now. Or not. Hmm, Tiny wonders if they should go down to the workshop to try to improve the machine. That's given Mother an idea. The passage slopes down. Oh, I see. Mother wants to push the rock down the passage. She thinks it will fall and break into pieces. But Tiny's confused. How will they push the rock down the tunnel? <coughs> ah, the seesaw. Someone's going to jump on the seesaw. There it goes. <laughs> Wonderful. That... Oh, I see. They're hiding so they don't scare the little plant. Oh, look, it's come back up again. <laughs> Oh dear, the noisy soup dragon has scared it back into its pot. <coughs> yes, the soup dragon needs to be quiet and come away. They have a very shy visitor. gone again. Mother says that little plant is even shyer than Tiny's flower friends. Tiny thinks that perhaps her gentle flower friends could help the little plant come up and stay up. Well, it's worth a go. Of course, Tiny's flower friends are happy to help. <laughs> the flower is telling the little plant that this is the Clangers planet, where everyone is nice and kind.
There go Mother and Tiny in Major's rocket. Now they're on their way to find the Iron Chicken's nest. Yes, and the Iron Chicken too. Very good. Tiny is telling the Sky Moo to moo louder. Yes, follow the rocket to find the nest. The iron chicken tells the walls that supper won't be long. She's just got to get her nest back first. Major has got his telescope out. Yes! Major can see the nest. Well, I never. That poor Skymu has snagged its tail on the nest. It must have pulled it out into space when it couldn't get free. Here come Major and Small to the rescue. One radio switched off. One sky moon free. And very happy it is too. Just like the iron chicken. Ah, the iron chicken has spotted the thing she found sticking out of another thing. She wants to know what it does. Major says it's just a silly thing that makes noises. Ooh, that's actually quite pleasant. Not so harsh on the ears. Maybe there's a knack to this. Major is surprised. That sounds rather nice. Everyone else agrees. Tiny's right. The mysterious noise machine could be a musical instrument. Well, who would have thought it? Major, Mother and Granny want to hear some more. Tiny wants to join in. Buzzers too. Ah, oh, what beautiful music. Oh my, what a time for the Hoot Planet to arrive. Yes, something up there doesn't sound right at all. Hmm, something's certainly amiss. Small thinks they mustn't be impressed with the half-finished bunting. That's why they're only playing a half-finished tune. Major spotted something. He wants Small to take a look. Would you believe it? The curious tunnel must have sent the balls of wool flying so high they stuck in the hoot's horns. Well, this welcome hasn't gone to plan at all. Hmm. Small has asked Tiny to play her new song. What's Small up to?
again. Tiny's tune is so catchy, the others can't help but join in. The Hoots can never resist a new tune. They're playing along, even if some of their notes are missing. Small wants Tiny to play louder. Even the singing flowers are getting in on the act. So that was Small's plan, to get the hoops to blow and blow until the balls of wool popped out. What a clever young clanger. <laughs>